A few weeks ago, the mapping world was consumed by an amazing global map of notable people with each person's name centered over their place of birth. The map went viral as just about everyone can find something interesting as they explore the notable people in their corner of the earth. I caught up with the developer, fellow map boxer, to learn more about how this map came into existence, what inspired him to build it, and how it's been received. Join me now for a chat with Topi from our map design team. Hey everyone, so I'm here with Topi, who is a senior map designer based out of Helsinki, who works for Mapbox. Um, but today we're gonna talk with him about his notable people map. Uh, so Topi, you can uh, introduce yourself a little bit and then um, jump right in, share screen, and then we'll, we'll talk about the, we'll, we'll show the app and then we'll talk about it a little bit. Yeah, cool. Uh, thanks, Chris. Um, yeah, you heard it, I'm, I'm a map designer um, based in Helsinki. I've been doing map design, I think, for maybe seven-ish years. My background, background is in geography, and at some point I uh, realized that Twitter is a nice channel to share map designs and, and odd data explorations and visualizations and, and whatnot. And maybe this uh, is a part of that series. Uh, I, I made it a, f a few weeks ago. Uh, I did it during work hours. It, it wasn't initially like related to anything. Like we recently launched the globe and, and internally we, we thought that, yeah, maybe it's nice to get some nice, uh, like show to people how you could use the globe. Uh, I got this idea a bit later, late, uh, but then I think I, when, I, when I saw the data set that I used for this map, I, I just had to do it. But eventually I was pretty happy how, how it was received. So I, I don't feel bad anymore about spending a few few hours here and there there on it. Yeah, so maybe I should tell something about like how I ended up doing the actual map. And, and many people have asked um, how I found the data or like what inspired me to do it. And there's this nice uh, newsletter called Data is Plural for anyone who's like, into database or, or data analysis or data exploration, I highly recommend following this. Um, I've found uh, inspiration for many of my visualizations from, from this newsletter. So it's like a weekly newsletter that shares like, around five uh, interesting data sets that can be of any topic. And, and this data set, which I used was featured here uh, so the data set is, is this, uh, it's a cross-verified database of notable people. Um, and it's made by real scientists, unlike myself, <laughs> although I was uh, referenced as a, uh, as a, as a science researcher in some of the news articles where, where it was uh, featured. Um, but yeah, uh, so there, there's, an, there's a whole article on, on the actual data set and they, uh, they released the data set openly openly too and then i then i use that uh the article mentions two things uh firstly the birth locations shouldn't be used as such and secondly people shouldn't be the rank of people shouldn't be used like to compare different people i'm using both in my map because this is for <laughs> for fun this is not science uh, so what is but, what is rank if it's not for comparison to other people with rank? Um, it's just a kind of like a guideline, or or it's 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 a bit vague. I would say uh, maybe it's um, yeah. Uh, I don't know actually, <laughs> but uh, but maybe it's uh, it's a bit it becomes a bit too serious to see like who's number one and who's number two. Mm. But, um, but yeah, I, I used both of the those those things in, in my map. Those both of them are essential in, in the map. Um, there's a link to this in, on, on the site. And then there's a, also a link to this one. This is a map by the pudding from I would say maybe four years back. Uh, it's a people map of the US. I initially saw this and got very inspired, actually made with Mapbox Tech 2. Um, very inspired by this when I saw this initially, and 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 I thought that like I really want to do something similar, uh, but either with in Finland or then globally. And then when I saw this data set just recently, and then I knew 
about about the globe features we have i thought that it's a great match so uh then uh a bit of data analysis uh, a bit of data crunching and and this is the result what i did was that i i uh, condensed the data set down in in a sense that i chose one person uh, with 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 the highest rank for each location so if there are people born in helsinki uh, it only only shows the person with with the highest rank so does that mean you had to you had to choose i guess like central places or notable places to actually filter the data set by like did you just pick cities or towns or some other proxy for that i i used each uh, each unique location so uh, that's that was my idea was that I want to the map to be full of names. I wanted to have like a good geographical spread, and then uh, I I actually did the data analysis in in Post GIS. Uh, so that's where I did some basic SQL uh, with the data and grouped it grouped it by by location. So are you saying that there's a lot of people who are named in the original data set that just wouldn't show up at all because they're not the most notable for one location? Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. cool. So there's like uh, some people were asking like, uh, what's a good example? Like, I think it was from, from New York. Some people were asking like, what, what, why do we have Donald Trump here? Well, <laughs> not surprising that that came up, but also some other like... Um, some other major cities, people were asking, like, why is this or that person not vis visible in, in this city? But actually, Vladimir Putin was one. Yeah, Vladimir Putin was uh, one that few, a few people asked, like, what, where is he? Uh, but he was like, he's not as notable as Nicholas II. So, and it. you can link out, you have, a, when I click on one, you can link out and go read more about this person? Yeah, so there's like a link to Wikidata. From the pop-up, you can you can access the uh, um, access the Wikidata page of that that person. So, uh, if if this would be super fancy and would have all the features, it would use the Wikidata API to get like a nice small picture there and maybe a description. But there's actually the there's just a single HTML file. So there's like I don't have my own backend server running anywhere or or, or anything like that. I have just have this maybe like a uh, 500 lines of uh, GLJS and HTML. So did you actually like load the data into Mapbox tiling service or uh, where's the data actually stored? Yeah, great question. So um, I first crunched the data in, in PostGIS, then from PostGIS I exported uh, GeoJSONs and then the GeoJSONs I processed to um, with Mapbox tiling service into vector tiles. And I actually used uh, some of the uh, tiling service documentation. There were like nice instructions on how to uh, create um, vector tiles for place names. And I used exactly the, the example that, uh, that, that, that was available there. Because basically I'm using it this exactly the same way as, as place names. I have the ranks uh, and then I'm um, deciding, I'm ordering the, the names based on that and that decides what shows up. Awesome. And then then from uh, from those vector tiles, I actually did the initial design in, in Mapbox Studio. So I created this uh, base map that you can see here. Uh, I basically created, created this out of one of the studio templates. So I wanted to keep it simple um and then in studio i added the the tile layers there because i wanted to play around with how, how the names look like and how how like how how bold some names are how big some names are how, how they appear on the map like the zoom expressions and everything so i i did that in studio uh and then from studio i actually took like the uh, the styling and, and then use that that code snippet in, in in the HTML. Awesome, and what what I really love about this is that it it's it's just using the same technique that is in place on pretty much every web map that most people use, which is for doing labeling 
Um, but most of the time that's behind the scenes and we don't really think about, you know, the, all the work that has to go into deciding what, what to show when. And when you zoom out, you see a different set of labels and when you zoom all the way into street level. Um, so it's just kind of taking that exact same, the exact same, you know, calculations and algorithms to, and, and applying them to something different besides place names. I, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I, 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 I kind of like the, uh, as a geographer, I really like the combination of, uh, of if you're like in Iceland, you don't have to be as significant, uh, like on, on a global scale, scale mm -hmm. to be visible. Whereas in whereas in London, you if you zoom into London, you see that uh, you have to be pretty significant, pretty notable uh, person to to pop up because mm -hmm. uh, there's the data density and, and the accuracy is is just insane in places like like London or or New York. Awesome. Yeah. Amazing. And I've seen, um, so I've been watching this, you know, watching the the Twitter traffic on this and it just seems like, you know, everyone's immediate response is to go to a place that they're very familiar with and then tell you what's wrong with the data. Uh, and I find yeah, that, yeah. I find that fascinating just because this is, you know, essentially giving a, a whole new set of eyeballs on what otherwise would have been an obscure, you know, obscure data set that some, you know, maybe some data viz people might've poked around with or tinkered with it's 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 extremely valuable of course but it's like not something that is for general consumption as a data set this makes it for general consumption uh, but it also comes with the caveat that now a lot of people are going to be correcting it um, any anything notable like anything interesting people have pointed out that you didn't know about or any other thoughts on like how we can you know take all these corrections and and turn them into something more useful than just tweets uh i'm actually I've been exchanging some messages with the with with some one of the researchers who who is behind the data, and, and we will we will chat with him uh, next week, which is uh, uh, a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, I've heard from them uh, the researchers that they've received a lot of traffic to their uh, article, which is which is really awesome. Yeah, and and they they said that they've been following also the discussion and will probably release like a. 2.0 uh, version of with with the most obvious uh, corrections in place. So that's really really fun. Uh, there is something like I I think I've been told uh, <laughs> about a thousand times the Sartre wasn't born in in, in Bogota, mm -hmm. and also that uh where's where's maradona well maradona is uh, is in the wrong place or missing and and yeah there there are a few which i've heard quite many times my my twitter inbox was uh flooding <laughs> and, and many people were like some people found my like personal email i don't know how but i, I got several emails there that hey why is this and this not person this person not on the map uh hey my uncle is pretty significant why is he not here <laughs> um yeah but it's been fun and i <laughs> uh, it's been fun to interact with people and people like like you said people zoom into their hometowns and see that hey, hey why is this person not here yeah and i think that's it just with more eyeballs we can trend over time we can trend towards you know better data i think that's the whole the same, the same, you know, ethos behind Wikipedia and OpenStreetMap and everything yeah. else where we work together uh, on making, you know, some source of truth. So this is great. Absolutely. Um, do you have any other plans for this? Do you want to continue? You know, after after the data set gets updated, you want to update? You know, want to fix it or you know anything else you want to you want to see happen with this, or you just kind of want to let it let it sit? Um, probably, it should be relatively easy to update because i have i have all the all the tiling service recipes and my sqls i have have, have all of all of that ready so it should be um easy to to update it with with those corrections uh maybe i'll do that uh, but otherwise i don't have any any specific plans it was this was a thing that was on in the back of my head for a long long time so i'm really happy and i'm also really happy because uh, that when i was doing this i was super excited about this I, I i shared it with like within our team and 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 with the people in the office like hey, hey i'm doing this thing and and i'm happy that i 
that also others felt the same. <laughs> yeah. That it wasn't me just geeking around. It was like like many people found found it interesting. So I'm I'm really happy about that. Still about the globe view. I have, have yeah. to mention one thing. Yeah, please. Like if this weren't wasn't on a globe, like there are some people who are actually like born close to the Arctic. This would look so weird on a web Mercator map. So I'm pretty <laughs> pretty happy about like how, how this works out. And this was actually a, a Finnish name, like up way up here. And I had to look it up like does like is this accurate? And it says that this person uh, was born like in the Arctic Arctic Ocean on, on a ship. Huh. <laughs> so I was I was pretty pretty surprised when I when I zoomed up here and, and saw that. And, Amazing. And, and another thing, uh, I have to give a shout out to to uh, William uh, in in our team who helped me out with this, and, and Stepan in the GLJS team who helped me out. So so they, they were they were a big help. Awesome. And the code is open source. It's on GitHub. So anyone who wants to see how you you did the you know interactions um, and just the layout and and the web the website of things can take a look, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, of course, like everyone says it that it's not the cleanest code ever or everything, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 if if you have any any comments, I'm happy happy to hear. But it is on my on my uh, own GitHub page, so so feel okay. free to take a look and. and Wonderful. Thanks. Okay, thanks for uh, thanks for showing us your map, and uh, look forward to seeing what you do with it in the future. Thanks a lot, Chris. Okay, take care. Thanks so much for watching this developer spotlight. We love to hear what people are building with Mapbox tools and technology. So please give us a yell on Twitter and use the hashtag #BuiltWithMapbox. We'll see you next time. <laughs>